Paris, the beauty and romance of this magical city has inspired poets, artists, and filmmakers for centuries. One of the most influential places in the world when it comes to art, fashion, gastronomy, and culture, and of course, perfumery. This city is home to some of the world's most prestigious master perfumers, and that's what brings me here today. Hello, I'm Victor Costa. I'm the head of fragrance brands at Avon, and I've come to visit the house of our luxury fragrance partner, Givaudan. Having created over 250 fragrances in a partnership that lasted more than 60 years, we're getting behind the scenes access from Givaudan today. Here at the Givaudan Perfumery School, junior perfumers spend their first three years learning about raw materials, the chemistry of combining them, and being tested on their amazing skills. The latest Avon fragrance developed right here was Far Away Beyond the Moon, inspired by the mystery of the moon. I'm here to meet someone that dreams up amazing ingredient combinations for some of Avon's best-selling fragrances. Vice President Perfumer and the director of Givaudan Perfumery School is going to tell us more about Far Away Beyond the Moon and gives us a masterclass in how best to experience it. Have your samples at the ready. So Kalis, so nice to meet you, please sit down. So why don't we start talking about this fragrance? How would you describe it? It was done by uh, two amazing master perfumers, a uh, um, Brazilian, Hernan Figoli, and a French living in the States for many years, Olivier Gilotin. It's absolutely an amazing fragrance to give a feeling of an empowerment that will last up to the end of the night. Oh yeah. It can be a working mom or it can be a, a superstar to give herself more self-confidence yeah. so that she can maybe deliver more to yeah. the world. Shall we smell it? Yes, of course we shall. <laughs> You have a beautiful opening on a wild cherry note mm -hmm. that brings a lot of uh, uh, juiciness and sparkle in the fragrance, yeah. which is the uh, Belle de Nuit. The smell of this flower is very glamorous, it's quite intense. And after you enter in something uh, more um, uh, soft, warm, sandalwood, that will linger like literally all night long. Yes, you can really smell it. So Belle de Nuit is a flower that opens at night and really delivers all the fragrance where at the moonlight. You don't see the flower when you walk in gardens, for instance, mm -hmm. but suddenly it makes herself know yeah. by the smell, <laughs> like the woman who will wear this fragrance. Yeah. We have a very specific technology that we use to capture this beautiful smell, so why don't you tell us a little bit more? It's called the scent track. We take the air around the flower very smoothly and it's captured in a little trap. We leave the flower untouched and we remove the device yeah. and we can analyze uh, up to ppm's like part per million. This flower cannot be extracted and we call it a muted flower. Okay, okay. So if you pluck it, you wouldn't be able to smell it, for example. If you could give it some tips on how to best apply the fragrance, what would you say we have to do? A fragrance, by essence, is a product that is very lipophilic. That means that it sticks on things that are like the fatty part of your body. And But if your skin is too dry, for instance, it's a good idea to moisturize it. Hair is a beautiful uh, way to get fragrance because like, when you move, it will be a, a fantastic way to, to fragrance yourself. Thank you so much, Kalis. Thank you. Welcome. Anytime. We put Far Away Beyond the Moon through the test and found out that 7 out of 10 luxury users would switch their fragrance to Far Away Beyond the Moon. Now you have Kalis' tips. It's your turn to try it. We hope you love it too. Avon is the number one best-selling fragrance brand in the world. And right here in the Givaudan lab is where most of our best-selling fragrances are created. The same lab as the luxury fragrances out there in the world. So come with me and I'll show you where the magic happens. I'm here to meet Jacek, who is going to take us behind the scenes to review the development process for fragrances. Hi Jacek, nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about your role here at Givaudan. So today I'm a trainee of perfumery school and after the four years of my internal training here I will be a junior perfumer. So everything starts here. First, the perfumer receives what we call a brief. It's a special request for a client for a fragrance. Perfumer will create what we can call a sketch or a kind of skeleton of the formula. 
perfumer will send this recipe to the lab in a form of barcodes. Once the barcodes are printed by lab assistant, some of them will be stick on the beakers and will go to the robot to be compounded by robot and some others will be completed by hand by perfumer assistant on his place. Once everything is done, we'll scan all the barcodes together to mix all the elements to finalize and to create our eau de parfum. The robot will compound around 70% of the formula. It contains 640 raw materials and can compound between 230 and 330 formulas a day, depending on the formula. The other 30% of formula will be finalized by perfumer assistant on, on his station. For the part which has to be finalized by hand, perfumer assistant will go to the robot, which we called Cardex, which is a kind of library of ingredients. So perfumer assistant can pick all the elements he has to add by hand and take them all to its station to finalize the formula. Once we will have the part of the formula which will be compounded by the robot and the part which will be added by perfumery assistant by hand, we have to blend all of them together and voila, what we receive inside of this beaker, it's a final formula which will become eau de parfum. Once the final trial is done, perfumery assistant will apply the oil to the alcohol to produce what we can call eau de parfum and perfumer assistant will send the sample to perfumer to be evaluated. How long does it take to get the perfect formula finalized? It really depends on the perfume. It can take days, weeks, months or even years. For a new far away beyond the moon it took 18 months. I've learned so much about the way Avon fragrances are made and their amazing quality. In fact, it's because of these perfumers that a lot of our Avon fragrances have tested better than luxury fragrances in blind tests, either for quality or overall preference. We love our fragrances and we hope that you love them too.